right, it's me again. Guys, I'm going to make some steam fish. So steam fish and okra today are Sunday. You cook easy food. Let me feel like some fish. So this is what I do. I'm sorry I don't have anyone to hold. So I wash. And this is just some white rice with salt, some butter. Just go and put in everything. Make it go on some butter, one pepper, scallion, you know, some black pepper and a little oil. You know, just a basic white rice to eat with the... Um, to eat with the so me wash the rice first so easy way for wash rice is to just wash it in the pot you're going to cook it into just wash it in a pot drain it off two and three times drain it off then um add some water back into it see it's not a lot of water just cover the rice a bit and then put in your seasoning. That way you have to mix, mix, store, store, mix, mix, store, store. Add in your salt, your black pepper, your pepper, some scallion. Guys, I don't have no time. I don't know how me forget to buy time. I don't have some things in my house. So, I do what I have. It's still going to taste good. So, simple rice. You don't have to touch this again. Once it starts to boil up, I turn it down, turn it on low. Bam. When you may open this back up now, it's going to steam, right? So not too fast. Turn down your fire pan. Make it stay high till it boil up. When it boil up, you have everything in there ready for you cook your rice. Everything. Fast and easy rice. Quickest rice. Right? So cover that up. Now this is the fish red snapper. I only have three red snapper here. So season up. Well seasoned with it and everything. And what me do is make a base. This is some coconut. I put like a island bottom, tomato, carrot, scallion, and some my okra. Just a base so the fish won't stuck to the bottom. And this is the rest of the stuff I'll put on top. You know, already in my water. So my okra them tough. You have to make sure say okra them alright. And look a scallion and sweet pepper. So and guys, me, me put like a um in I this me use the fish seasoning, little bit of salt and some black pepper. That's what I use. Alright, so I'm gonna put the oil in the bottom. So then I'm putting the fish in here, then kind of big. I may use some fish and meat sauce. Make sure your buckle is the best to cook um fish. My pot kind of small, but it gonna have a whole on fit, right? So I sit right there. You know, me I just make put a little water and I plate and rinse so out. This is the fish and meat sauce. Well, it's the pickle pepper one me use. This is not a fish and meat. The brown sauce here me only put some in the inside for now, and like a fish seasoning and mix it with black pepper. And so that's why me put pani and like a lime. So me juice, juice some lemon pani. Yeah, nice. And then me I go sprinkle like a little vinegar over it right so that's the basic vinegar what you use right so you're just going to sprinkle a bit just a bit just a bit of vinegar all right so take off your nasty thingy taste of it just a little vinegar and lime if you make it nice and the raw scent not in it you know and then you're gonna put in the rest of your your um the recipes these are some simple way for cook these things you just all put in the rest and guys i will um cover it up and put it on the fire so not and put some butter pan in right. so that's all me do now put the tomato everything over it and my tomato them and look at water and butter let me come back and show you what what me do so so far this is it this is how it look right so all right sita sita all right sita before my put pan of fire what me do me put the look some butter garlic pepper some scratch bonnet pepper cilantro the rest of stuff by the top you know um and i know pumpkin and them thing because me just simply steam a fish, carrot, tomato, everything. See the butter. Put a little oil. 
and the little brown something you see is this oh if you guys want to taste some nice steamed fish use this in it right and me pour a little bit of water in it not not a of water just a little bit of water because remember I say fish I go um, spring some water already so and then me pull the oil over the top so garlic regular fish seasoning and so on that's it that's it turn on your stove and cover your pot and you cover your pot let it go right let it go then you know after a while i'll turn down the stove but this is it so when it's done you just need like 15 minutes for this up everything ready everything ready fish okra everything in adisa just nice butter but on the top it's nice meltdown see rice already see the rice nice i black pepper them there should i use another pepper but black pepper turn down the stove for me one pick one all right so this is it guys oh i don't know if you guys know my name my name is pamela we have a nickname but me know me not say it out so yeah, if one day you hear somebody say something else from Pamela, I mean, yeah. so I need this Pam. I'm not ready to put my face. I don't know to do anything. Soon, soon. But I see my face. I don't know if it takes my face. Maybe I look like a cow or something. When get my face. So this is it, guys. When it's done, when it's done, when it's done, I'll come back and show you a finish. So this is the Here's the fish now. Almost ready. Almost ready. And see rice. Some rice. Me just I go spit up some lettuce and so on. Me like my rice buttery. So me put butter in my rice about two, two times at least. You know, cause me like my rice with the buttery. So me put the butter up on the top. Put the more butter up on the top. See me. I love to make things easy for myself. So I don't make it hard we have to boil up rice water and season and them thing. You don't have to do it that way. Everybody cook different, yes. But you don't have to season up, make no pot of water boil and put pepper and seasoning in it. It's going to taste the same way. If you do it this, this way, easy you know if you did your bada bada with no rice you just wash in a pot to drain off the water two time or three time whichever and then you put the water cover over the rice and put it on the fire put some salt pepper thyme whatever i mean i know time you know because i run out but you know put your thyme your scallion me me put a little bit of garlic in my because i love garlic and i like tomato me like that so I put a little garlic in it. No coconut this time. No coconut, no nothing else. Just a little bit of garlic. It pepper, scallion, butter, little black pepper, you see. Mm, them black things, you see. Black pepper and um and some salt. And that's it. Put it down, sit it and hey, 15 minutes or whatever. Turn it, make it boil up, then turn it down pan low. And this is your rice, see? This is your rice. Nice and you know, soft, soft. If you know how, you know, if you cook your rice, see? Nice and shelly rice with your onion with steamed fish, you know, with Jamaican, say. You know, some of be proper and talk about eat sometimes. You come, I'm your onion, so food, you know. And see? That's my rice right there. This is my fish. It's coming along, guys. See, there's the water in it. You just have to put a little bit of water. You put the oil, right? The oil and everything. See, nice and ready. You make it go on two more minutes. You know, see okra the pan it up. And you know, I like my okra too soft. I'm mean, gonna like things too slimy. So some of them in the bottom, some of the pan it top, so the fish will stick to the pots. Right, see, this is it, guys. Look at coconut, sweet pepper, tomato, garlic, wallipa garlic. We use some fish seasoning, the maggi fish seasoning. All right, we use the maggi fish seasoning, little bit of salt, scallion. Me put this of cilantro in and eat because me not have no time. Um, sweet pepper, 
and carrot as you can see look how good it look so i'm gonna make it one cook couple more minutes and guys it's done all right see quick eyes and make things easy for myself easy as possible i'm not growing a long way i have to just do it the easiest way and today me feel like steam fish and this is the steam fish guys steam fish some who some people like it's red snapper some people like their head off some like head on we jamaican like it head on my life is to me fish with the head on it so add this and then me go cut up some lettuce and things for them to eat finish everything finishing butter melt down in there so it look nice not you and i have no good lighting one day me have a bit of something than this then they may all sit there i can't show no too much all right so this i rice nice buttery and shelly yeah and i have to be pop pop and soft soft no shelly and nice Alright, so that's the finishing. Everything finish and now we turn off the stove. See, nice and juicy. You so look good. Nice, colorful and nice when you go in your plate. And you know, only look good, guys. It tastes good. It tastes good. Me don't know me as any cook or any, you know, steam some fish when it tastes good. And remember, guys. Just a little bit of vinegar, a little bit of lime when you put in there, it changes the taste completely. So when you're done seasoning it and so, and a little pepper, a little, um, little bit of vinegar, a little bit of lime, squeeze a little fresh lime pan, it's the best guys, you see? Everything cook up and nice. Okra nice, this I know, you know, too soft. I don't like, you know, like when it's slimy, like when my okra just nice and firm. That's why I have to say, I have to say, I to my friend too much, you know. Sip, sip, sip. So it's done up, done up, done up, nice and sorry, guys. So I'm trying to get more lighting. So this is the fish, steam fish, and rice. Alright, so everything depends on what does about half, you know, everything done. Yeah. Alright, so and then this now, me make, you know, I can make a quick salad, some lettuce, cut up some lettuce and some tomato, and then go handle this with that, and hey, then good, you know. Then go get up and find food. You know, then go get up and then go have their food for eat. Them have to go make their own breakfast because I still breakfast time, guys. When somebody tastes, you need to know, but it is good. It's good. So, make cook. 